You know what? I want to feel bad for Tai to Ivasa, but I can't. He took this fight after getting knocked out brutally in two months. What do you expect is going to happen? You're going to get knocked out again. You're at heavyweight. You cannot be coming back after two months. Look at Dominic Reyes. I do not want Tai Tuivasa to end up like that. You get brutalized in your fight, and then you come back too soon and get finished. And that's what's happened, and I hope he does not go down the Dominic Reyes route. But Pavlovich is just an interesting character. I'm telling you, the way he's built, the way he can throw punches at some like ridiculous speed. In the opening sequence, I was very surprised. Tutu Ivasa is always the guy who puts people on the back foot, walking them down. And that's what a lot of people said about this fight. Tutu Ivasa would walk Pavlovich down and we'd see the Counter-Strike style, which is why I wanted to see how good Pavlovich's defense is. We still don't know how good Pavlovich's defense is because no one ever really puts him on the back foot. The only fighter to do it is Alistair Overy. Someone like Taito Ivasa, I wanted to see him walking down. He just didn't do it right. And I know Taito Ivasa is not too technical, but he did throw a leg kick and it did miss in this fight. But he knows you cannot be throwing leg kicks at range against a guy with an 84 inch reach. You don't do that. He throws a leg kick. Pavlovich should come in with his fast hands, one, two, blitz him and sit him down. Pavlovich feints at Tai Tuivasa making him raise up his guard, but you've got to remember he's full of power, so even if you put your guard up, he's going to break that block, it's at heavyweight. And he just starts blitzing him, hands down, just throwing at Tai Tuivasa. And then if you look carefully, you see that Tai Tuivasa actually catches him with an overhand right and just misses a left hook. But that overhand right would rock a lot of opponents, but you see Pavlovich, he steps back and they both come forward. And then Pavlovich kind of like blocks Taito Ivasa's overhand with his left shoulder and comes up with some like fast cross jab, something that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson was doing earlier today and sits Taito Ivasa down. I was surprised about that. You know how good Taito Ivasa's chin is. It can last until like the third round and when you start putting the volume and watching it accumulate over time, that's when the chin starts to go. But for Pavlovich to knock him down with a jab shows you he's got power and speed that no one has in this division. I can't think of a fighter who can throw at that speed with that type of power. He's reminding me a bit of Anthony Johnson, the way he can throw so fast, but can also do a lot of power, especially with a jab. That jab is usually used to set up like a cross or an overhand, or maybe even a hook. But with Pavlovich, he can use the jab as a power shot, which is why you saw him use the cross and then come up with that jab and sat him down. And then Pavlovich just starts mauling Tai Tuivasa, but you've got to remember Pavlovich, power, speed and accuracy, all of it combined. So he's landing uppercuts through the block of Tai Tuivasa, which is why he's trying to like shell up and turn away because it's still landing even though he's got his guard up. And Tai Tuivasa goes to swing a left hook, but the problem with Tai Tuivasa, his timing is all off. And then believe it or not, I think they said there was a second knockdown. You see them both trade in the center, Taito Ivasa goes to swing a right hook. Pavlovich doesn't actually connect with him. What happens is because he's swinging his arm around to throw a hook, he's thrown it with so much speed that he's flung himself like a frisbee, like a human frisbee, and swung his body weight down to the ground. And it looks like it's a knockdown. Like I believe Michael Bispin said it was a knockdown. I don't think it was. I watch it back in so many angles and I can't see where Pavlovich hits him. And I also think it's the stance of Taito Ivasa. He looks very flat footed. He doesn't look stabilized in his stance he looks all over the place and if you look carefully you see that Taito Ivasa during this fight did cross his feet and that's something you can't be doing at heavyweight against someone like Pavlovich it'll open up a left hook or a right hook around the guard of Taito Ivasa and I believe Daniel Cormier also said this he should be clinching because in that scenario when he's swinging at you you should look to get maybe a body lock and I know Taito Ivasa is not a wrestler and I know Pavlovich is allegedly good at sambo wrestling you should not be trying to trade at that point you can you can see pavlovich is tagging him up he should look for the clinch and then try and take him down to the ground it might be scrappy but he might as well do it and then he sits him down to like his knees and then he gets caught with an uppercut that just goes straight through the guard and sits him down and the referee's forced to jump in and stop it so after watching that and watching the garn fight it makes me think that this is why you do not come back so early because his chin did not hold out. And I know Pavlovich has got more power than Cyril Garn, but we know what Tai Tuivasa's like. He can take punches. He took massive punches from Derek Lewis. But as soon as Pavlovich hit him, 
he was going down fast. And I know Derek Lewis went down fast as well, but that was more of an early stoppage than this. But Derek Lewis was probably going to lose. So I think Pavlovich needs to fight someone like Cyril Garn next. That's the fight to make. Very interesting matchup. I don't know who wins it, but yeah, I think that's who he needs to fight. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.